Take one of the cranberry recipe with Alexia Landers is about to begin. Hold on to your butts. Thanksgiving. Here we have Ritzy. Say hi. Say hi. And Luna. Can you look that way?
or the contamination across the counter. That's what I like to do. Start 
busting down a little bit and releasing their juices. And then you're gonna cook this just until it starts to thicken. So we'll see you guys in a minute. So what I like to do is I automatically like stir some of the sugars in. Just make sure it's like all nice and even. And don't be afraid to squish anything because ultimately you're gonna cook these down. All these cranberries, even though they look like grapes or cherries right now, they're going to bust eventually from the heat. And that's what you want because that's what's gonna infuse all the flavor into this. What did you say, 20 minutes for it to bake down? And for it to start baking down, you're gonna notice a little bit of a simmer in the juices. And you ultimately want this to become like a thicker um, jam consistency and that's how you know it's going to be close to done. And I'll show you what the consistency looks like once we get a little bit closer. Okay, we officially have a little bit of steam coming off these. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I turned up our heat just a little bit. And remember to keep stirring occasionally for this. Okay, so the cranberries have cooked down quite a bit like I said it would. Um, all you can really see, you don't see any more of the orange pieces, those cooked down into the recipe. You see a little bit of apple, but the opacity has definitely changed on this dish quite a bit. As you can see around the edges, this has cooked down because most of our liquid has cooked out of the dish. And the sugar is going to be the thickening agent. So once you start to get these really big um, simmers, where you get quite a bit of bubble coming up and that you can see that your cranberries have cooked down and, and or busted, you're gonna reduce your simmer just slightly. You still wanna have some bubbling in this, um, but we're gonna slow it down a little bit on the heat because of the sugar. Sugar's gonna burn a little bit hotter, so the temperature doesn't have to be as intense. Okay, so this has been cooking another 20-30 minutes. As you can see, the apples are hardly even visible in here. Most of our cranberries have completely cooked down to a sauce consistency. That's a good thing, that's what you want. So you just wanna stir this occasionally. Now at this point, I've turned my temperature down a little bit more than what it was before because I do not want the sugar burning to the bottom of the pan. That's the key with these pans. With a pure metal pan, you just want to stir it. Make sure that you're not overheating because then you will get burning on the bottom of your pan and it ruins the pan. So we'll be back here shortly. I'll show you the finished product of Easy Cranberry Side. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and turned off the stove top for the cranberries. So, now we are just going to scoop them into a glass dish. Okay, so as you can see, we let the cranberry sauce cool down a little bit. You can serve this warm, you can serve it cold. If you're gonna be serving this cold, you wanna make sure that you give yourself at least a few hours to put it into the fridge. Let all the flavors marinate together. But we're gonna do this slightly warm for Thanksgiving. So from our family to yours, I hope you have a super satisfying, sweet uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, whether you're with loved ones or apart from family, this is sure to bring you some holiday joy. So, thank you. Like and follow. <laughs>